YouTube channel. My name is Lydia. This is Nikki. Today's class is a vinyasa class. So we're going to be flowing through from one posture into the next. This particular sequence that I'm tailoring for you is more of a gentle vinyasa flow. So if we're feeling a little bit on the tired side and we just want a bit of full body movement, this is going to be a perfect class for you. It's also a great way for those of you who are new onto the mat and you want to get into your flow. So this is going to be a great class to introduce you to some of the flow-based movements. So let's come and meet on the mat, everyone. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Feeling supported by the surface your body is resting on. Notice if you feel any physical sensations in the body. And recognize the ebb and flow of the breath. Slowly bring your hands to the center of the heart. Take a moment to set your intention for your practice by acknowledging what purpose or what clarity of purpose you can bring about to your physical practice today. Let us come and meet on all fours. Moving through figure of eight pose as you shift the body from front to back and just really starting to carve out a figure of eight. Movements can be dynamic, fast, or a little bit slower. There's never a right or wrong. It's just an opportunity to feel and connect with how you're feeling today, how your body is doing. Very good. Reverse to the other side if you haven't done so already. Relax the neck. And let's meet back in child's pose. Bring the palms behind your neck, elbows close to the ears, and stretch through your upper arms here in the triceps. If the glutes don't reach the heels, you can bring your knees out a little bit wider apart to help with this. Breathe in, and breathing out. Find yourself onto all fours. Let's tuck our toes, coming into cat-cow now. So arching the spine as you smile the collarbones up to the sky. And then round the back, draw the chin towards the chest. So when we are flowing, we are trying to connect each movement with a particular breath. So even in your cat-cow, you're already flowing. Extend the right leg behind you, flex the toes, and pulse here a couple of times, up and down, engaging the glutes. Keep the right leg extended, option to reach the left hand forwards as you balance from the core. Place your left hand down, bend your right knee, and now start to gaze forwards. Option two is to release your left hand and grab hold of the top foot as you begin to stretch your left chest as well. Come back down to all fours, everyone. I'm going to move across 
Now to sitting on your glutes and we're gonna stretch through the backs of our wrists, so the wrist flexes. Back of the palms on the mat, fingertips facing behind. Lean back if you wanna feel a bit more of a stretch. Let's come back, left leg extends. We're gonna pulse up and down here, engaging the glute. Very nice. Reach the right hand forwards maybe to find that balance through the core. And preparing now to come into your tiger pose. Bending the left knee, maybe right hand grabs hold of the foot. This is a beautiful spinal lengthener and also a back bend, stretching the entire front portion of the body. Let's take it back onto all fours, sit back onto your heels and stretch your wrists. So backs of the palms on the mat and curl the chest slightly. Release the hands in front of you. We are now going to push back into Balasana, Child's Pose again. Inhale, coming up to Cobra, elbows close to the waistline. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, release down. Inhale, extend the arms fully to upward facing dog. Tuck the toes. We're going to push back to downward facing dog. Hamstrings may feel a little tight. You can pedal out the feet, one heel down, lift the other heel up. Do what you need to do to stretch the whole body from fingers to toes. Breathing in and breathing out. Make your way now, as the right foot steps forwards, we're going to come up into Virabhadrasana A, Warrior 1. Exhale out to Warrior 2. Inhale, flip the palm, reverse Warrior. Exhale, place the palms down, step it back to plank, knees, chest chin, or take a Chaturanga. Slow movement to your cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, medium cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, lengthen the arms to up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes to your downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. We're not moving too fast. We are trying to move really slowly so that you can engage all of your muscles and be fully present when you move. Left foot forwards, coming into warrior one. Exhale out to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, palms down, plank. Vinyasa of your choice. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, medium cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, this time to up dog all the way. And then exhale, tuck the toes, push back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. If you need a child's pose, take it now. If you're good, keep lengthening your hamstrings, heels coming down. Breathing in. Bend the knees, lower down onto all fours. We're now going to practice our half chaturangas. We're going to lower the chest and chin down, elbows close to the waistline, very slowly push back up. 
Let's come back down, elbows close to the waistline, push back up. Make sure the chest comes forwards beyond your fingers and push back. Coming back through, chest and chin lowers, push back up. Coming down, elbows close to your waistline, push back up and then take a child's pose. Release the hands. Shift the hips from side to side. Gently lift yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. We're going to turn out into side plank, forearm side plank. So right forearm on the mat, right knee down, extend your left leg and look up to your left hand. This is a very variation of Vashistasana with your palm down. Of course, if, if you wish to take full side plank, you're more than welcome to. Gazing up, engage the core and breathe. Swap across, bring your left forearm down, extend your right leg and look up to your right hand. Good. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Returning back to all fours now, we meet in tabletop position. I'm going to open through the chest as you lift your right arm up and then thread the right hand through, cheek comes low. Inhale, expand through the chest, go higher if you can. Exhale, th thread the arm through. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, threading all the way through. Now reach your left hand to the top right corner of the mat and open through your chest and your shoulders. This is a very helpful posture that can release tension around your shoulder region. So take the time here. Let's move to the left side now, everyone. Left hand goes up to the sky and let's thread it all the way through shoulder cheek on the mat. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, threading all the way down. Inhale to expand. Exhale, we thread. Reach your right hand to the top left corner of the mat. See if you can shift the weight onto the left shoulder. Stay here for a few deep breaths. Let's slowly come up to seated and extend your legs forwards. We are Moving into Janushirasasana. Left leg to the inside of the groin, reach the arms up and fold your chest down to the extended leg. Keep your right toes flexed to really stretch through your hamstring. Such a great pose to keep lengthening here to help you in your splits, any forward fold. Now place the left hand behind you, sweep the right hand back, gate pose, your back bend. Exhale, we're sweeping back forwards to Janushrasasana. Inhale to gate pose, lift the hips, the chest. Exhale, come forwards to Janushrasasana. Inhale, spiraling the chest upwards. And exhale, coming into your head to knee pose. Take a few breaths here, see if you can go a little deeper. Come up, let's swap the feet around. Right foot in, left foot out, reach up and fold. Head down to the knee, extend your legs forwards. Hamstrings lengthening with each and every breath. Come 
Coming into your gate pose, spiral that left arm back, lift the chest. And then exhale, coming all the way forward. Good. Inhale, reaching all the way back. And exhale, coming through to Janushirsasana. One more time. Lifting the chest and the hips. And come forward. Stay for a few breaths here in your forward fold. Breathing in, come up to seated position as you scoot your way back, head, shoulders on the floor, moving through some back bends now, lift your lower back, middle back, upper back, exhale, coming back down, inhale, lifting the lower back, middle back, exhale, release, inhale, lifting all the way high, chest to the chin, Exhale, coming all the way down. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, gently release. Coming all the way back up. Now interlace your fingers. Walk the elbow shoulder blades together and hold. Keep lifting the chest. Engaging the glutes. Press the feet into the earth. Let it go, hug the knees into the chest and take a few rocks from side to side. Preparing the body now for Supta Bhara Konasana. I'm gonna open through your inner thighs and your groin. Soles of the feet together, place the knees out towards the edges of the mat. You can reach your hands back and just settle into this natural breath. Gently bring the knees in. We're going to place the left foot across the right thigh and then weave your hands through to hold the right knee. Reclined pigeon pose, opening through your glutes and the sides of your thigh. Head and shoulders on the floor. Release the pose. Let's move across to the other side. This time, hands holding on to your left knee. Really starts to open your hips a little bit more deeply in this pose. Gently let go, hug the knees into the chest and take a few rocks from left to right, everyone. Now extend your left leg up to the sky, bring your hands towards the thigh, ankle or heel and just stretch your hamstrings. You can also use a strap if this helps you in this posture. It's a hamstring stretch so we want to keep our legs as straight as possible. Now bring the knee across to the right side, send your gaze down to the left side. It's a spinal twist. Feel your spine moving into gentle twisting motion. Soften the breath. Return to the center. Hug the right knee in and slowly extend the leg up. If you point the toes towards your face, you will go deeper in this hamstring stretch. Take a few breaths here as you hold. Very slowly. When you're ready, just bend the knee. We're gonna take it across to the other side as you send your gaze to the right. So knee to the left. Gaze to the right.
Return back to the center as you hug the knees into the chest. Let's take a few circles with the knees from right to left. And now begin to hug the knees as you rock from left to right, preparing for your final relaxation now. So do what you need to do to the body, to your clothing, to your posture. Separate your feet, mat width apart. And just let your body begin to settle. Relax the jaw, relax the brow and the tongue in the mouth. Whenever you breathe in, try and invite a sense of relaxation into the body. And when you breathe out, try and let go of any remaining tension. Take some moments in silence here to focus on relaxing the entire body. Inhale to relax. Exhale to let go. When you feel ready, start to invite some movement back into the physical body. Moving your fingers and the toes. Hug the knees into the chest, take a few rocks from side to side. Make your way to lie on right side in this fetal position. And gently guide the body back up to a comfortable seat where you can take a moment to observe the body. Root your sitting bones down and reach up tall. Feel the crown of your head lifting. When you feel ready, you can bring your hands to the center of the chest very slowly. Take a moment to appreciate and thank yourself for making the time and space in your busy days to prioritize your relaxation. Hands to the top of the head, forehead and heart. May our actions of body, speech and mind be in harmony with kindness always. Hi yogis, thank you for joining us in today's class. If you've been enjoying the practices with me, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly classes to your inbox. Stay safe, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste.